Hey guys, Mark Jeremiah here. Um, wanted to show you a video of my bunkie. Uh, finally finished. Uh, didn't take too long to build it. I uh, just wanted to put the finishing touches on it. So I'll take you over to where I put it on my island and uh, give you a quick tour. Thanks. This is my little log bridge. That'll be next year's project to build a real bridge here. I have this piece of land that was not being used for anything. It's a little bit of an island surrounded by beautiful marsh all the way around. So that's why I call it my island. So I figured I'd put this bunkie back here, give my kids a little camping experience. It feels like we're not at home when we're at the back here. And uh, they enjoy it quite a bit. So, our little family fire pit there. A lot of work to get it out here. Um, took my son and I and my wife uh, about a, a day and a half to build it. Um, I think David says you, you know, five grown men should take about seven hours, which I could see that. Anyway, here's my bunkie. Um, I'm very happy with it. It's uh, extremely nice. I uh, put my metal roof on. Still need to put some finishing touches on that, but uh, we stained it, uh, which I think is a good thing to do. Uh, protects the wood. Um, and I put my deck on. A little nook shook in my log stairs. Um, I did a wraparound deck. Not that I needed a wraparound deck, but I figured it's easier to access the windows. The windows do open out, which uh, which is a good thing uh, because it gives you a lot more room inside. Um, so let me show you a couple things here. Well, first of all, uh, power. Um, out here, I couldn't run an extension cord from my home, so I've got two solar panels. Uh, which I can move to wherever the Sun is so it's got a pretty long cable I just move it on my deck get the best Sun location that's probably not it right now um, and my deck I just basically took trees and I cut them down and use that oh and the best thing that's what's left of the skid so the skid that came on I used to put underneath this deck so this was a pretty cost-effective way to do it. Um, all I needed was a couple deck boards, some trees, and the skid, and I was able to build this deck. So it didn't cost me a lot of money at all. Anyway, let me show you the inside of the bunkie. Um, so we set it up pretty easy here. Let me take my shoes off. My wife will give me trouble. So what we did, um, we stain the floor uh, to a different color it doesn't come that color but uh, we like the contrast between the walls and the floor by doing it that color of course my wife has added her nice decor try to keep it as simple as possible in here we chose to go with the futon um, just the futon it gives you a little bit more room when it's set up as a couch uh, believe it or not we did put a TV in here I, I don't like that idea but uh, we have one just play DVDs and stuff. There's my power supply. So pretty simple. Uh, you just need uh, an inverter, a 300 watt inverter. Uh, you need the uh, the solar charge uh, mount that's seven amps, and then you need a battery. Um, so I'll build that in a little bit nicer. But uh, that's how I power, and it gives me enough power to run TV, run the light, charge some phones. Um, and I've never run out of power yet, uh, so which is nice. So this, when it's down, it comes out to just before the stairs here. So it is a little bit of room if you had to get by that way, uh, but it's nice because um, you come out of bed here or you come out of bed there. If you come out of bed over there, uh, you just walk around here. This here is a foldable chair. I suggest if you do put a chair in here, um, little trampoline chair um, 
if you put a chair in here, make sure it's foldable because it sometimes gets in the way. Um, but yeah, lots of room. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful construction. Um, very easy to put together. Very happy with the quality. I think we had issues with maybe three boards that weren't uh, doing what we wanted to do. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, if you, that's wood, right? So you need to be able to work with it. The stairs, we did a different color. So we did the stairs offsetting. Um, I still got to put a, a top coat on that. But uh, here's the stairs. They're really stable and safe. Um, in fact, there's a lot of steps on these. And then we have the loft. Now, my wife bought this mattress at Ikea. It is, I think it's about a three inch mattress. Um, it's full queen, full queen size mattress up here. And then she also bought a single. So my daughter is small enough that if we had to, we could fit five in here. So she can fit under this beam here as long as she just kind of rolls out of bed. Um, and then over here we could fit two more adults. And then down here, it's a queen size futon. And when it folds out, it's, uh, it comes to about there. So, um, yeah, it's a great little bunkie. Um, the window up here that opens, uh, which is fantastic. It allows uh, the uh, hot air that rises to get out. Um, you've got the two big windows on either side. And make it very, um, very nice and comfortable at night for sleeping. Um, yeah, we sleep out here <laughs> probably more than we sleep in our place. Um, but look at the views that we've got through our windows um, and out the side here. Beautiful construction. It's a little solar light. Uh, solar is definitely the way to go if you don't have access to electricity. And then we got more woods out here. So we're we're basically out here. Uh, there's a little bit some smaller touches to do, but overall uh, we are happy with everything that's all my equipment that I was using to build it. Uh, again, I got my hammock out here. And it's a beautiful setting. So um, I'd recommend this to anyone who's looking for extra place <clears throat> for their in-laws to sleep or their friends or even their family who just want to get out in nature um, it's very nice but um, you know overall um, reach out to David at bunkylife.com um, I again I highly recommend him uh, great guy uh, very nice on the phone and very helpful he knows a lot about these bunkies and uh, and what's right uh, and best way to build it. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed and uh, uh, Yeah, let me know if you have any comments on Facebook. Thanks